Hello, it's Janie. How are you? I hope you are well. Today's video is a very fun one, I think. I have all kinds of retro makeup to show you. And I can't wait to open some of these boxes. I mean, they're old. And I've got a couple of old catalogs from Avon to show you. And maybe we'll find some of these pieces. I am not going to be putting it on my face today. <laughs> I did that for the 80s. I'm not doing it again. Anyway, one of the things that I'm very excited about and I love getting in the mail is my box of Gona jewelry. You guys know how much I love this stuff. And I'm going to tell you one of the things that just makes me so happy is when you write to me and tell me you've ordered this and you've gotten it and you love it. And so many of you have and that just, I know it makes me happy and I know it makes them happy as well. I love this stuff. It's like a Christmas present every time I open it. And so I'm going to unbox what they've sent me. It's the best company, I tell you. So here it is. I've already ripped open the seal so I don't make that noise. Okay, let's quickly go through this. Here is a card. It's getting close to Valentine's Day and there is a big Valentine's Day sale on their website. Use my code Genie. Oh, Genie. Put my code in, my name, and you'll get a discount as well. But look at let me show you what I've got. So look at this. Watch this. That is so cute. And they've sent me a note. It's in French. And what little French I speak, I can see that it is a heartfelt wish for a happy St. Valentine's Day from the people at Gona. They're so fantastic. If you are in Paris, yes, you can order all this online, but if you are in Paris, I would love for you to go by their store. Take pictures of yourself there. Take some selfies and send them to me. I want to see. And then of course, with every order is the certificate of authenticity, which I think is above and beyond and a wonderful extra step for them to do. Okay, now let's look You guys have mentioned <laughs> how excited I get when I'm opening this stuff, and it's true. I, I just get so excited. So let's start with the first box. Oh. This is called the Starlight Clover. I am going to put these on right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to wear these out. And 
I love how secure these are. I've had hoops before that easily fall open and these don't. Okay. Wow. I love these. Okay. Next. Next box. This is a necklace. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. What's nice is it's got a little extra piece here that you can remove if you want it shorter or keep on if you want it longer. Boy, super sparkly, and it's just ready to add some charms onto. Let me show you this box. Oh my goodness! So oh quick! This bracelet is chock full of beautiful charms. Let me show you. And what I love is this amazing safety clasp that they have on here, and that prevents if somehow the bracelet were to open, it would protect it from all the charms falling off. So you can see right here, here are the safety clasps. And here are the dangling charms. It's pouring outside and that's what you hear. So now it's time to put this on. I love their clasps. They're just so fantastic. <sighs> this decorative part just bites down against this prong. What I've done is I've taken a couple off from the bracelet and I'm going to put them on the necklace. And that's one of the things I love is how you can mix and match from the earrings, the necklace, the bracelet. Now let's put this on. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Let me zoom in and show you. And now the bracelet. Oh my goodness. February is my birthday month, so purple is my birthstone, amethyst, and I love these purple colored charms. Oh, this is just gorgeous. The workmanship of each bead is just amazing. Each one 
is a work of art, whether it is just the, the round charm or the dangling charm. H1 is just so beautiful. I'll put a link into the description that shows you this exact collection. It is the Venetian Dreamland. The Venetian Dreamland. I would wear this in Venice. I would wear this in Paris. I would wear this anywhere in the world. Again, click on the link in the description and in the pinned comment and you can check out the collection I have and use my code Genie, J-E-A-N-N-I-E for a 20% discount. And tell me what you get. Thank you to the folks at Gona. I appreciate our relationship and I am so grateful that you sponsor my channel and offer us these amazingly beautiful, interchangeable pieces of art that we can wear. So, now, what I want to show you is the unboxing of some of this retro Avon makeup that I got. And you know what spurred this idea? I was at a, um, like one of those postal stores shipping something, and there was a stack of Avon catalogs on the center counter. I don't know whose they were, but I took it. I took one. I assumed that's what they were there for. And this is Campaign 26 of 2023. So this is what it looks like. So what I started, I started looking through it and I really like looking at makeup. It's such a girly thing, you know, and, um, but I know some guys like our Johnny Ross who wears amazing makeup, but anyway, I started looking at some of the things and then I kind of got into this retro, you know, what could I find? that is Retro Avon and show you. So I found some real cool things, I think. So, so I'm going to start with what is not in a box. It just came completely wrapped up by somebody, you know. So the first thing is this. compact. It's a mirror compact. Watch. There's a magnifying mirror and a regular mirror. And I thought this was so cute. I'm going to keep this in my makeup bag in my purse. Look how cute that is. Little bow little diamond type thing. So, it's perfect for checking my makeup, putting on my lipstick, 
or touching up my eyebrows because sometimes I rub my eyes and I know to avoid my eyelashes and eyeliner for the most part. Sometimes, but then sometimes I rub them and I've got big raccoon eyes. So I really like this pretty little compact. The only thing is I don't know anything about it. It's got a cute little bow on front. So if you are into Avon, let me know. I looked through the catalogs, the old catalogs that I have, and I couldn't find it. So I just thought that was so cute. Okay, the next thing is another compact. This is beautiful too. Got a gold back. It's got a really pretty kind of a flower with a little diamond type thing right in the center. Let's see if you can see that. So much light. Isn't that pretty? Now look what's in here. This reminds me of my mom's makeup. You know, this is like nose, you know, face powder. I said I wasn't going to put it on, but oh my gosh. The smell of this, it smells really nice. It's kind of sweet, not bad at all. But my mom used to powder her nose and she kept a compact like this in her purse and she would take it out and if we were, oh my gosh, all these memories are coming back. I remember driving places and before she would get out of the car, she would take out her compact and look in the mirror. her nose like that and I know this <laughs> this smell it smells exactly like it did in the 60s when I remember her doing this and look at this little powder puff I did not expect this. Hmm. I even remember our car. It was a station wagon. Yeah, it was a, like a Ford. What was that? LTD. It's tan with the fake wood that ran up the sides. And we used to sit in the back, the way back with the tailgate window down, breathing in all the fumes. <laughs> no seatbelts. I think they had seatbelts, but we never wore them. Oh, this to me is a treasure. It's just really making me emotional. I mean, those were really good days. show you something else. Mm. Now, 
So this next thing is really old and it's also a little compact. these lines. And look what's in here. a lot of times in videos the colors aren't true. Okay, let's look at how dark this is or how bright this is. I'll put it on my hand. <laughs> I don't think you can see how bright that really is. If I went out with this on my face, this much on my face, I would look like a clown. It's really, it's really bright. Take that off. But this would also be something my mom would have had in her little makeup bag. Just a cute little little rouge pot. Let me see if I can see what it says on the back. Pink. It's called Pink Tinge. Pink Tinge. So like I said, if you are an Avon buff, you know, especially, um, the older things, the retro makeup, let me know what year this was. This is definitely older. I would say this, I'm guessing, 50s, 60s maybe. Okay, now we're getting into some fun stuff. Okay, and it's unboxing. And the color is Raspberry Frost. And this is from the 70s, I can tell. This pattern here, these colors, very popular in the 70s. I had a lot of decor in these colors. T-shirts. You know, it's it's different than a regular rainbow. It's very 70s. A lot of TV commercials had these colors, these color combinations. And this is called Avon Color Cream Moisture Lipstick. 
Okay, you Avon buffs. So let's look at this. Hmm. Got a really soft opening. Okay. It is a very peachy color. I'm not going to put it on, but I'll put it on my hand. Kind of a coral. I wouldn't call this raspberry. That's orangey. Raspberries aren't orange. Huh. Some of them can be. I don't think you'll be able to see this. You know what? Let me try something white. I don't remember my mom wearing lipstick much. Where if she did, it was very muted, very, you know, um, skin tone-ish. I just don't remember her wearing lipstick. I love this retro color scheme. I just love it. Okay. Let me see if I can see a date on here. I do. 1982. This is the Avon China Fantasy Eyeshadow Collection. Let's open this. Black box. really pretty. It's got some, looks like lilies and some gold sprays. See the gold? And it's in like a black lacquer plastic. It looks like, you know, the, a Chinese box that's black lacquer. Sealed. Look at this. There's a piece of plastic over this. Oh, it comes off. Okay. Wow. Look at these colors. I like these colors. They're very pearlescent. Let's 
see, I can try a couple on my hand. I would wear these colors. Let's see, 1982. That's 42 years old. I don't know. Let's try some of these colors on my hands. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Look at this green. Okay, so that's the green. This color. Now let's try this one. It's kind of a rose. I'll put them on in order. These are beautiful. I would so wear these. It's kind of a bronzy peach. Okay. Oh, I bought this. I really like these. And if Avon still has something like this, I would order it. Now I'm putting on this one. Right here. It's hard to see. Let me see if I can put a little more on. Yeah, it's, I think it's hard for this light to pick it up. It's kind of a creamy. So let's try the next one. It's kind of a, almost a salmon color. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh. They're all very, they're all very, very shimmery. Okay, and the last one. That was this one. Now this is the last one. It's kind of a, a little bit purple, tan. Oh, you, I know you won't see it. It's right here. I just made a mess of it. I feel like I opened these time capsules and ruined them. smells completely fine. I like this box, but it's big. You couldn't put something like this in your purse and carry it around. Okay, next is another eyeshadow. This is from 1988. That looks like an 80s design. Kind of bold, geometric, earthy colors. Listen to the names of the eyeshadow colors in here. It's called Avon's Creative Eyes Kit. I pretend I can see. So there, is, there are eight shades of cream eyeshadow. White glaze. Teal flash. Ultra Black, Pot of Gold, Violet Flash, Bronze Flash, Sky Flash, and Pink Flash. If that doesn't scream the late 80s flash colors, let's look at this. I don't know what it looks like. Oh, this looks like the 80s. If 
even has its oh my gosh it's disintegrating this brush <laughs> Destroyed by Jeannie B. Oh, yes. So I'll use my my own brush here. Okay, I'm just going to put them on. Maybe I'll do my wrist right in here. Okay, we'll start with the white. You know what? There is no color to that, just shimmer. Okay, so we'll go to the pink. The 80s, they used a lot of pink and purple in the eyeshadows. Yeah, look at this. You see that? I think my lights wash it out. Let's do the purple right next to it. This, this is so 80s. And this teal, this teal greenish. I'll do that too. Where's my nap? There we go. Oh yeah, we're getting a total 80s vibe here. Let's see, how do I show you this? Oh. Okay. It, the lights are so bright that it doesn't really show you. Yeah, you can kind of start to see it. Now let's let's try this blue. That is some oh wow, look at this. And then this bronzy color. So we started off very pale and iridescent, and now we are super, super bold. And I think this black just must be for, I'll put it on the other end, like eyeliner. I mean, there's no way you'd wear this as an eyeshadow. Would you? I don't think so. I put it right here. So there is that entire palette. Creative Eyes Kit. I think I'd wear some of these lighter colors. I'm wearing Victoria Beckham right now. Okay, so let's put this away. Because if I don't do it now, there's a good chance I won't do it. People, please tell me. Look. It's the classic perfume collection. This pretty box. Let me tell you what's in it. Soft Musk. Lahana. Imari. Night Magic. Mesmerize. My mom wore Chanel number no. five occasionally, not often. Oh, look at this. Oh, I see. That's the back. Now it's
it's upside down. on my cashmere sweater here. Okay. Now, I wonder if there's an age on this. <clears throat> A date. 70s maybe but I remember that and sweet honesty okay the next one is so that was soft musk this is this is Lahana <laughs> oh 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 this did not age not age very well. Oh, well, may, no, I take that back. <laughs> That's not too bad now. You know, the top notes were foul. <laughs> but this is actually nice. It smells very, um, almost like plumeria a little bit. Okay. This one is Imari, I believe. Yes, Imari. Okay. Look at this cute little bottle. Okay, let's find another place on my arm. And we'll do this side. <clears throat> Gotta give these things a minute. They're 30 years old. used to look like or s smell like. You know, it's interesting as that nastiness evaporates, you actually start to smell the good perfume underneath. Hmm. I wouldn't wear it out still. Okay, and this is Night Magic. is mesmerized. Oh, it's a cute little bottle. Okay. I need a spot on my arm. Okay, let's try this. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm. That's not bad. Mesmerize. Okay, I'm gonna put them back. So out of all of these, the soft musk really smelled the best. That was actually nice. And this Lahana ended up smelling good. Okay, let's put this away. This 
room is starting to smell. Okay, last but not least, wait till you see this. Avon's largest color wardrobe coordinates. Look at this. So. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Something's missing from here. So we've got lots of little lipstick. I remember these. My mom always got these with every Avon order. She'd get a free lipstick or two. And then we've got some, looks like some blushes over here and eyeshadows. Okay, this would be super long video if I were to show you every single one. So I'm going to pull out just a few. See, look at these. They're in these little color pots and you can try them out. That is so cool. Okay. And what else came in this? Are these little applicators, little paper applicators. Okay, let me show you. Jeannie destroys another so you pull out. And then you can try. One of these colors. This is Rain Fresh Berry. And it's covered up. My hand is completely discolored. You can't see it. You know, this is, that's a pretty color. Look at this. I would wear that. It was completely sealed. I might try it on my cheeks. I'm not gonna do these eye ones. Look at these cute little lippy stickies. Look at those. They used to be white way back in the day. Oh, look at that. That's a very pale color. Oh my gosh. Let me read you these colors. So, Fragile Pink, Exotic Melon, ooh, very cherry, let's try, that's not cherry, that's orange. Hmm, okay, Mary Berry, Pink Orchid, Cherry Jubilee, Champagne Frost, Beach Bronze, Sweet clove. Ooh, let's look at that. Sweet clove. Wow, that's pale. I don't like it at all. Ugh. It's this one here. Okay, tanberry, coffee frost, 
buttered rum. Oh, that's fuck. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Let's try that over here. Oh, that's a pretty color. It's kind of dark. A little chocolatey. Smoked cranberry, raspberry ice, exotic lily, instant mocha, hearty wine, mahogany bean, copper fever, golden russet, berry brown, dusty azalea, wood rose, glazed copper, ripe apricot, and coco poco, coco poco. Well, <laughs> now, what am I going to do with all this stuff? I've ruined it as a sealed time capsule, a lot of these things, but that's okay. It's fun showing you. Show this eye here. Let me show you. They have it, um, a green eye with purple, and that makes the green pop out, and then blue and brown. And another kind of peach and hazel eye. Maybe it's blue. I'm, I'm happy with this little retro haul. Kind of a trip down memory lane. Anyway, I'd love to hear from you. Like I said, especially if you are an Avon, you know, expert or somebody who knows about some of these retro things, I'd love to hear what you think and any extra information you may have. to actually look through this latest, well, campaign 23. We're already in January 24, so this is December of 23. But I'm going to look through here. I'd forgotten how much I like their stuff, I think. And the prices are fantastic. Maybe I'll see about finding an Avon lady in my area. And I can have some Avon hauls. I haven't seen those on anybody doing those on YouTube that are current. I've seen the retro ones. Um, Peace and Serenity. Oh my gosh. She does an amazing job. Um, you know with her retro Avon stuff. Amazing. Check her out if you haven't already. <sighs> so, I appreciate you guys. This was fun. I hope it was relaxing and interesting. 
not too crashy or loud. <laughs> I might have to edit out some loud crashy sounds. But I'm going to sign off for now. Enough. And wish you well. Wish you so much peace and wellness and beauty. You don't need makeup and hair stuff and jewelry to be considered beautiful. It's nice. It's fun to adorn myself. I love it sometimes. But I don't wear jewelry every single day and I don't wear makeup every single day. Usually something laced my eyebrows. But beauty comes from the inside. How kind you are. You know, in that questionnaire that I did, one of my favorite attributes from, you know, of somebody else is, is joy and a sense of humor and laughter and lightness. But underneath that is kindness. Christina from Old School ASMR Sounds chose that for that questionnaire. And it's true, kindness. In this world, we need more kindness. It's easy to be snappy and short. And it's easy to be critical, particularly behind a keyboard, anonymously or, you know, without somebody really seeing you face to face. So practice kindness, spread kindness. I have the best people on my channel and I appreciate you so much because you are all so beautifully kind. I am signing off for now and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.